emotions will be placed in life both taken on each of the um, on each of the debates. Right, first of all we have a proposer and seconder, please call the Labour proposed motion item three C on the agenda. I have a proposer and seconder, please call the Labour proposed motion item three C on the agenda.
and scrutiny arrangements were in place uh, for scrutiny to oversee that plan. Mr Mayor, the whole country is facing a crisis in social care. Finding and retaining the best staff for social uh, work, uh, social care work, is tough. Unprecedented levels of growth in demand have, have happened at the same time as funding has been drastically <coughs> curtailed. But as painful as the offset picture has been, uh, we, I think it has given us a very clear indication where we need to focus our attention. So in conclusion, Mr Mayor, our priority, making progress on fixing uh, the things that Ofsted said we need to fix. Uh, I believe that progress has been made, and I briefly summarised what we've done. Uh, we have been working extremely hard. Uh, we put the initial uh, uh, things in place. We've got our DfE advisor who will take that uh, uh, work forward. And I think in closing, Mr Mayor, I guarantee to cancel and every word of them that no stone will be left unturned until we deliver the first rate children's services our residents deserve. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Thank
Council promised the family a local government ombudsman uh, over a year ago that lessons would be learned from this family's case. On meeting the Ofsted report, it became clear. When this lady approached the leader of the council, she was told to go and speak to uh, go and speak to the children's services department because it was a process issue, not a political issue. Mr. Mayor, I know the Labour benches are fond of reminding me that they were on the council, but I'll take this opportunity to remind them that when I was leader of a Conservative and Lib administration, children were safe. Our overall ratings for children's services was good. The leadership management of government of the department was outstanding, and Ofsted recognised my total commitment to improving services for children and young people in Wirral. Indeed, time and time again, Conservative and Wirral have demonstrated that keep, keeping children safe is our top priority. What a travesty, Mr. Mayor, and yet another disservice to the children of Wirral, though it's only now. In the light of this truly devastating report that the current leader of the council has deemed that keeping children safe is his top priority. Mr Mayor, in conclusion, the Labour Party should hang their heads in shame and never forget that at the end of each admin process that's gone wrong, at the end of each call that's gone unanswered, or in each case that's been miscategorised, there are children and you have failed them because of your inability to provide that political leadership required, and no amount of spin, bluff or bluster, can get away with that, from that fact. You have sat too long, you should now go, and I ask the Council to support this resolution tonight.
council leader was so highly thought of, I understand, Phil, that you're part of a peer review group. You go around other councils reviewing their performance. Mr. Mayor, it's complete nonsense. You couldn't write it if you tried. Mr. Mayor, this is, after all, a Labour control council who scrutinises itself, who've taken all the chairmanships of the scrutiny committee against the advice of the LGA. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. But if the LGA do think that this is the most improved council, then clearly they're either deluded or they've been hoodwinked by the Labour group. Mr. Mayor, it's not so long ago that in this borough it was proved woeful in protecting our vulnerable older people. And we were all going to learn lessons from that. Many of those senior politicians who were in positions then are still the same politicians who are in, are in positions of prominence now and they have clearly learned nothing. <coughs> Shameless, incompetent Mr Mayor and now accused of widespread and serious failures in the services to children who need their help and protection. You failed vulnerable adults and now you're failing our vulnerable children and we're told Mr Mayor that you knew all along that this type of outcome was going to be published in the report. So just what were you doing? It says in the Ofsted report that other priorities were taking far more importance. I ask you what could be more important than looking after vulnerable children? Not so ready to come on. Right. I was there. Were you too busy, Mr Mayor, looking at an alternative bin collection, a council newspaper, a trip to China, swanning over to the Liverpool city region, or just sitting around, passing each other on the back and taking your eye off the ball. Mr Mayor, there were 27 of our young people lost in the system, care leavers out there somewhere in Merseyside, we understand, who were actually in danger of being the possibility of sexual exploitation. Sorry, Mr Mayor, those members should hold their heads in shame and if they have any shred of decency, then they should resign for the with tonight. Mr. Mayor. Given the nature of the debate, we probably understand that I'm trying to be better than the group. Uh, Councillor Walter but members can try and keep it through the Councillor Walter Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I must say with the other group that to try and say that we could be a less concerned than you are is an absolute disgrace. Every member of this group, every member of this group, this was announced. We were extremely shocked that we should get about it. The main reason why we were shocked, the main reason we were shocked is because we have made great efforts to give this council a better management, to run it better, and that's always been, you can laugh, but don't forget, we did win the most improved council, and that's taken a lot of from you. Um, council Green mentioned about um, when he was there, of course, we have a, a good report. I say to him, many millions of pounds have fallen out of our pockets since you were only those. Um, but really, what I want to comment about is the opening remarks of your motion. Um, use the adjective of all. The better adjectives would have been surprised and disappointed. And why do I say that? First of all, you've got Wendy, Councillor Wendy Clements uh, seconding your motion. Wendy Clements and I, uh, Pat Williams, she, she will know, we did a, a very good piece of work. We interviewed everybody in the department. They will know what first class staff we had. We interviewed carers, uh, police, just about anybody responsible for children. And generally speaking, we, we were very happy with the, the way our department was uh, being run. The, the great um, problem we, we have is that. Um, the turnover of our social workers. Now, that has been raised by me on so many occasions. I, I, I just uh, can't, can't believe <coughs> that that should come up again in this report. But that was, in fact, the turnover of council um, social workers is a big factor because stability of staff makes a big difference. You know, I, I have staff that's worked with me for 45, 35, and 10 years as a limb on. Um, if you've got stability of staff, you get a better service, it's more efficient, you don't have the problems. But where you read it, you know, poor record keeping, uh, staff, uh, social workers interviewing children, they haven't got the uh, record of what's gone on previous. So that is a serious problem. And of course that's down to the amount of money. I presume that 
that we've never implemented a higher rate, if that's been necessary, for our social workers, because we just haven't had the money. We're, here, we're, we're struggling all the time, trying to spread the, it, the money that we get ever thinner, and that gets worse all the day, the way it is. So, um, I, I just say that you, you should be disappointed. Um, you, you should be uh, surprised, because with the information we have previously, our council officers in the children's department were doing a good job. And of course, if you read into the report, whilst there are things that we do have to see to very seriously, there's also things that, fortunately, no children have uh, suffered because of the lack of record keeping or the, the problems that we, we, we seek to address. But all I can say is everything is being done. Nobody has <coughs> sought to hide or spin. Um, in fact, I, I was pleasantly surprised the officers straight up, we must deal with this. As as we, every member of this group did the same, and that's what we will do. We will, we will fix it. Town Hall 